a black piece of paper and they're going to fold it to start with. They're going to fold it in half like a book and give them a couple of minutes to do that on their desk. Of course, fold that like a little book. Not the corner to corner, but the rectangle shape. Then they're going to open it back up and fold it the other way, just like a book. And then you will end up with a black piece of paper that is folded. It will have four squares on it. And I just outlined them just so that to show you, you don't have to outline them. That's just to show you. So you'll have it folded into the four squares. Then we're going to use the bottom square to make the body. We're going to make this little giraffe that comes up very cute. And all you have, all you have to do with your pastel, I would say test. Some of them don't show up very well on the paper. They look really beautiful, like like bright colors, but they don't show up on this black paper. So test, I would say test maybe on the back of it or something, just to make sure that you can see your oil pastel on your for your drawing. And then you're just going to outline the box like that. Outline your box, the bottom corner. It doesn't matter which corner, just one of the bottom ones is going to be the body. So that's just going to be starting off with the box. Don't worry about this bottom part. Just all you have to do is just this part right there is all you have to do. One, two of them. Draw that. Just outline, like go along, trace those little folded lines and you've got your little body. There it is like that. So bottom, one of the bottom squares is going to be the body. Then once you've got the little box outline, you're going to go to the top opposite side of your little body and you're going to draw a small triangle like right up here and have them just like follow the shape of the paper so that the little triangle is easy enough to draw triangle so it starts with one is draw the box just the box number two in the top opposite whether you do this one you're going to draw the head up obviously over there but if you do that side you're going to draw it up here and then once you've got your little triangle drawn you're going to connect it with two lines which is going to be the giraffe's neck you're just going to go down one, two, body to head. And then you can make the <coughs> rectangle legs. So it's a very simple little shape. And then they're because they're going to cut it out. Now, if you have like really fat legs, they can trim it into two little legs. So this is how it should look to start with. And you don't have to worry about the ears or the tail or the little horns because we're going to put that on separate after we get the main thing cut out. So this is what you're going to do. And then, once you have the whole little guy drawn, then you can start decorating it. And I would do it while it's still on here before you cut it out. Cut it out after you've got it decorated. So just use, what we're trying to do is get them to repeat shapes, decorate with a pattern. They can do something like that. They can do giraffe marks, like this little kid did one of these. Oh, and I have a little mask just to inspire you also. A little African mask. This little guy did an opposite giraffe. They did a black giraffe with little like orange shapes that a giraffe would have. So this is one of the little tiny guys. I think this was kindergarten actually, from a long time ago. And so these are just decorated. And if you have this kind of a like little lines on your giraffe, it's okay, just make them into a pattern, like the little lines for his body and stuff. And just start making little designs on there. You can leave the head plain if you want to like that one, or you could put color and add eyes. And then don't worry about the tail and the ears or the horns, we'll do that after. This is all you have to do for right now. Then you can start using your oil pastels to decorate it, however they want. They can make a polka dot giraffe. It does not have to be realistic, that's the whole thing. They can do little scribbles of a bunch of color on him. They could do something like that. They could make him stripe, just like with rainbow colored stripes. I've seen all kinds of fun little things. These are just some little inspirations. And I outlined everything really heavy just so you could kind of see how it was going to look. Then once they get it all decorated, we'll cut it out. But I'll let you decorate your giraffes first.